Hello. Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss uh, generally something about uh, accounting and uh, the final aim is I have to introduce the uh, P3 accounting and uh, I have to provide P3 accounting training those who required because in India we are using uh, accounting packages like uh, ERP, Tally ERP, Soho Books, QuickBooks India, BC accounting software, ProfitBooks, Logic, MyBooks, Webar, Saddle. Uh, there is another software is also we are using in India. But in uh, if you go to the European Union, there is uh, something uh, different in software is are uh, using. Uh, especially P3 is using in America and uh, UK also uh, they are using P3 accounting also. So that is the uh, final aim or the future aim. Uh, now we are going to discuss about uh, something generally regarding the accounting. So just uh, go to a definition for accounting. Accounting is the art and science of keeping systematic record of business transactions. So that means uh, accounting is an art. Art means we are very neatly drawing, lining the books and we are uh, very nicely writing the transactions in the set of books. And also how the science applies here. If there is an debit occur there in the business, there is a opposite credit also there. So the both the transaction will tally. That time the course will be right. Otherwise there is a difference will happen. So that is the applying of science there. And the art is we are keeping it neatly. Art. Applying the art for lining the books. That is uh, traditionally we are uh, keeping set of books at the, in the modern life after the technology is changed, uh, brings changes uh, too much in the daily life, business and also in accounting. So we are using accounting packages. So come to the business accounting. Business accounting is the process of gathering and analyzing financial information. So uh, how we will gather the information for the accounting purpose? When the sales happen there, we will uh, record all the invoices. But in the software, it is automatically generating the sales and uh, we will get the statistics of sales. So that is, uh, we are collecting information. We are gathering the data. Uh, suppose uh, if there is some expenses will happen, uh, general expenses, fuel expenses, stationary, printing and uh, stationary, etc. changes for repair and maintenance. That is also we are recording. We are making payment vouchers and we are recording it in the books of accounts. So that time also we are gathering the information for accounting purpose. So that is a gathering of data and uh, next step is to analyze the data. Gathering and analyzing. How we will analyze the data? We will summarize all the uh, business transactions into uh, trial balance. Then we will get uh, trial balance and we will prepare from the trial balance income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, etc. That is uh, we are analyzing. The profit and loss account will uh, give you the business is running on profit or not uh, 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 profit because maybe there is loss will happen. That is a uh, normal so that is uh, analyzing financial information on business activity so it is uh, connected with the, all the business activity and we will record transactions and the producing financial statements that's already i explained so now come coming to the business accounting basics there are few business accounting basics you should understand to ensure your business operations uh, run smoothly so one must know about uh, the business transactions, what is uh, happening in the business day to day. If you are not monitoring the transactions or not going through the accounts, it will uh, lead you something different way. While you may be an expert uh, at sales or marketing, you should never un undermine the importance of basic accounting. Without a clear financial picture, it can be nearly impossible to move your business forward below. You will find important accounting claims and uh, principles that can help you get started. So basically a businessman or the accountant or the businessman no need to under uh, understand the recording transactions and the basic functions of accounting. But he must know about uh, what is the meaning of the financial statements or financial 
uh, statements, uh, uh, the meaning, the ratios, the profit and loss, balance sheet, what asset uh, he is uh, owing, what he has owned, and everything he must know, the business person. But the, when you come to the accounting point, uh, the duties and responsibilities of an accountant, he has to uh, maintain the books of accounts or he has to record the business transactions in the accounting software. So, the basically, somebody, those who are handling the accounts must understand uh, some items here. The first one is accounts payable. Accounts payable, that is the money that you owe to your creditors and vendors. Vendors, you know, the suppliers of goods. If you are a general trader, the raw materials or the finished goods that uh, the vendor will supply you in the wholesale and you will sell it in the market and you will earn some profit on it. Uh, which are listed as liabilities because you are legally obliged to pay. Yes, accounts payable is a liability because you have to give this money to the vendor, the person who supplied the goods to you. So it is a liability to your business. The accounts payable, that is a term we are using and there is a sundry creditors. Formerly we are using sundry creditors. Now the modern days we are using accounts payable. So accounts payable is the money you are owing to somebody else. That means your vendor, the person, those who supplied the goods to you for uh, reselling. The process of uh, when you generate a purchase order or you, you will uh, give some order to the purchase request or to the purchase department, they will proceed it with the vendor. They will uh, compare the prices with uh, many different supplies in the market. After that, they will decide the uh, right supplier with the right price. Then they will forward the quotation to the vendor. The vendor will supply the materials to you. And uh, at the time of delivering the goods, they will uh, uh, give only the delivery note. In later on, they will send you the invoice. Or on the same time, when they make the delivery with the delivery order, they will give you the invoice. Anyway, this invoice will go to your accounts department the accountant will record it in, in his computer. So that is recorded task we have to pay to him. Payable, sundry creditors, accounts payable. That is we are owing to this money to your vendor. So coming to accounts receivable. The, this is just uh, opposite of the accounts payable. Accounts receivable is an asset for you because this is a receivable. You have to get this money from the people you supplied the goods. You received the uh, goods from the vendor on credit basis and you are giving this to your customers in credit basis. That time you are giving the invoice and you are recording so and so company or so and so person received these goods and uh, he is owing to us, this company. Wherever the accountant is sitting in the accountant chair, then he will think about it with that mind only. He is here. So, he want the money get from the customer. That is accounts receivable. So, uh, he is money owed by customers for any purchase of goods or services they made. Which is often listed as a credible asset because they are legally ob obliged to pay. Okay. Accrual basis accounting. Now, accounts are receivable finish. Accounts payable. Or sundry creditors sundry debtors that is formerly we are using. Now coming to accrual basis accounting. Accrual basis accounting is an accounting method accounting method in which businesses recognize revenues and expenses at the time of sale. So accrual basis accounting is uh, when uh, maybe you will uh, make uh, somebody will make a cash purchase. So that is a uh, cash basis accounting is happening there. But accrual basis is Something happened there but not received the money because you given the materials on credit. So the cash transaction, uh, cash is not hand over there. If they uh, hand over the cash to you, that is uh, uh, we can say cash basis accounting. If the cash is not uh, given the same time the, when the transaction takes place, that is uh, we can say accrual basis accounting. Accrual basis accounting is an accounting method in which business recognize revenues. Recognize revenues because the revenue is not happened. It is recognized that you, you have to um, get the revenue from something, service or product you are given or anyway, 
you have to receive this money because this is a money you have to receive from the customer or somebody so now come to the assets assets are anything your company owns assets are the something owns by the company the example if say the stock stocks are uh, asset of the company vehicles building land machinery these are the assets of the uh, company so assets are anything your company owns that uh, has value such as bank accounts the cash at bank is uh, also an asset accounts receivable goods you sold on credit and you have to uh, get the money accounts receivable also uh, asset of the company inventory furniture equipment and uh, real estate these are all uh, asset of the company so then come to the balance sheet balance sheet balance sheet is a financial document that uh, serves as a snapshot of your company's financial standing at the end of a specific period so financial document that uh, serves as a snapshot of your company's financial standing at the end of a specific period we are preparing the balance sheet or any financial statements we are preparing in a specific date maybe six years six months one year or quarterly uh, any date we are preparing the financial statements so and it includes your business assets liabilities and shareholder security then balance sheet simply we can say it is a business asset liability and uh, shareholder security as i see you know the value of things that your company owns and liabilities are the company owes to outsiders that means if you buy credit purchase you have to give money to the vendor that is a liability and uh, assets liabilities then come to shareholder security Share, shareholder security means uh, the there is a different types of companies there sole proprietorship partnership uh, limited company private limited company so and so many different uh, uh, business entities are uh, there so there is uh, if it is a, a share shareholding company the share, shareholders are the owners of the company and there is a representative for administering the company there that is a chairman md something like and the other officials in the company there so that time every shareholder uh, the money they contributed for the capital the capital contributed from different number of shareholders that is uh, you have it to owe to them because you are doing the money with the shareholders money if it is a single man company or the sole proprietorship the money is uh, uh, you brought the money that is your money uh, that is also the uh, the one thing is the company is a legal entity even if it is a sole trader or it is a partnership everything there is a entity there the business entity is there the person is uh, separate the owner is separate the business will record that if you are an individual businessman or sole proprietorship the capital will record it as owing to you payable to you that is the company is a or the business entity is a uh, separate one other than the business owner so the business will record the uh, capital payable to you that is also a liability it will come under the liability side because so balance sheet uh, shows assets liabilities and uh, shareholder security so cash basis accounting that is already we explained cash basis accounting is an accounting method in which businesses recognize a sale when a payment is received so if you can uh, say it in an example when credit sales take place it will uh, not happen on the basis of uh, cash basis it is not happened there is only something goods move on to the uh, customer and the money is not received that is not uh, that is credit basis cash basis is which business organizes a sale when a payment is received the same time the payment received so now come to the double entry bookkeeping what is a double entry bookkeeping it is a bookkeeping method in which account accountants make two entries for every transaction so double entry bookkeeping means which accountants make two entries for every transaction every transaction there is a two aspects debit and credit there are two corresponding sides that must be equal and the both these sides must be equal with one side listing debits and another side listing credits so then uh, we can check a one, one transaction you made a cash sales so you are giving the goods you are receiving the cash so you got the cash you lost the goods so that time the general entry is cash account 
a debtor because cash is a an asset and the asset is increasing the cash is coming inside though the cash balance will goes up you have to debit cash account debit cash credit the uh, stock that is a uh, double entry is happening there and uh, there are two corresponding sizes equal with one side listing debit and another side listing credit that's the way now come to liabilities liabilities are anything considered a debt or financial obligation to a company such as accounts payable income taxes wages loans and other accounts owed so liabilities you know the capital is uh, liability because you have to the company the entity the business entity have to pay or give back the capital to the owner so it is keeping it as liability then another the example for another uh, liability is if you purchase some goods for credit you have to pay that is liability if somebody um, workers are worked there you didn't pay their salary for one month for a few days or it is uh, uh, accrued so that time also you have to pay the money to the employees or workers that is also liability your rent is uh, due now because the last one rent you didn't pay that is also a liability so accounts payable income taxes income tax you didn't pay that is a liability wages loans and other accounts these are all liabilities now come to profit and loss uh, statement profit and loss statement also referred to as income statement profit and loss account or income statement uh, both are same and uh, reports earnings expenses and uh, net profits for a specific period so then income statement what will uh, income uh, statement will disclose this is the income statement uh, reports the earnings how much money how much money you received in a specific period the earnings or revenue revenue maybe the main revenue will be sales and maybe if you done other side businesses or you sold your vehicle for after depreciated value you sold it in a higher price that is also coming to miscellaneous income so it will record in uh, earnings so income statement reports earnings expenses income statement uh, also shows you how much money or how much money you spend on the specific the specific period and for what heads different heads of accounts there in your uh, accounts or in computer or manual uh, everywhere everywhere there is a head of accounts there the rent will goes to rent and um, salaries will go on salary head and um, printing and stationery goes there and every expense there is uh, one head of account there so the profit and loss account or income statement reports earnings expenses and net profit for a specific period net profit also net loss if it is loss it will disclose the loss and if it is profit it will show because from total income total earnings minus expenses will reflect a profit if it is when higher the revenue revenue is high and the expense is low then that time it will come a profit when if it is in vice versa it will be a loss because the expenses exceeds the revenue that time it will be a loss so today it is okay then we will continue it tomorrow thank you thank you for watching